Well, uh, that's an excellent question because the maze procedure um, is um, the most confusing um, uh, name in, in cardiac surgery because uh, it is always uh, said that uh, so the surgical treatment for atrial fibrillation is a maze procedure or a modified maze procedure, but it's only a one maze procedure that uh, it can be referred as a maze procedure. And let me tell you a little bit about the history. The procedure was developed in uh, Washington University in St. Louis uh, during the early 80s by Dr. James Cox uh, based on a very extensive uh, animal research. And only after uh, uh, being able to uh, understand the pathophysiology of the disease, uh, 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 the first maze procedure was performed on uh, September 25th, 1987. And um, this is a, a quite an extensive procedure involved both upper chambers of the heart, the both atrial uh, uh, sides, the right and the left, uh, creating a three-dimensional maze. It's a true maze with one entrance and one exit and many dead ends. This procedure was found to be extremely effective in ablating atrial fibrillation. And a matter of fact, the long-term follow-up of this procedure showed mid-90% uh, or so success rate even after such a long period of time uh, following the procedure. However, the procedure was uh, found to be uh, very complex and extensive uh, to many, and the mobility related to the procedure, meaning some complication, were a little higher than expected. Therefore, there was a, a lot of uh, work done uh, since the late 90s uh, until today to make the procedure much uh, easier on the surgeon and therefore uh, much quicker and uh, less invasive on the patients. And as a, as a fellow under the James Cox, I was tasked to um, uh, uh, move the procedure from the cut and sew to the uh, cryo-based, meaning the freezing technology-based procedure. And, uh, the, and of course, the, the procedure was uh, uh, successful. We were able to move the, the procedure from, from uh, cut and sew into a full uh, freezing-based uh, procedure uh, with keeping the same success rate. Ever since then, we developed the procedure to be done uh, also through a very small incision on the right chest with um, uh, the same success rate, what we called a minimally invasive maze procedure. So when the patient uh, are coming to us to be interviewed for, for the possibility of having the maze procedure, we can offer them a full maze procedure done either through a traditional mid sternotomy, meaning a midline incision, which they call the big incision, or through a small incision on the right chest with the same success rate. Not all patients are good candidates for the full uh, uh, maze procedure done through a minimally invasive procedure, and therefore only 80% uh, of so the patients ending up having surgery do have uh, the minimally invasive approach. However, we have other procedures that are some modifications of the uh, big maze procedure that are good for patients uh, that uh, their uh, degree of atrial fibrillation is not as bad, and therefore we can perform what we call bilateral pulmonary vein isolation through small incisions, and, uh, and of course the main reason uh, to have surgery is also to take off the left arterial appendage, which is the source of all the clots and the thromboembolic events. So to summarize what I just said, um, the procedure, the full maze procedure is a full three-dimensional uh, maze in both atria that can be done both as a full uh, sternotomy or a minimally invasive approach. And we have also smaller procedures that are done through a much uh, more minimally invasive uh, procedure uh, but not all patients are good candidates for that.